everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2018 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 6. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 6. Okay, this over here is question 6 and this question is testing us on graph and comparison. Okay, let's read the question for part A first. Vera bought 3 types of fruit. The prices are shown below. The bar graph shows the number of each type of fruit Vera bought. Part A. What fraction of the fruits Vera bought were apples? Give your answer in the simplest form. Okay, now that we've read part A, let's highlight the key information. So the first two sentences are not that important, just highlight for part A. So what fraction of the fruits Vera bought were apples? Okay, so they are telling us to give our answer in the simplest form. Okay, what the question is actually asking us is to tell us to find what is apples over all the fruits. Okay, so this is basically what the question is asking us to find. Okay, so I hope you understand that. So now, now that we know that, we need to know another thing. So let's analyze the table first. So apple per fruit is 40 cents. That means one fruit, 40 cents. Okay. So pear, one pear costs 80 cents. And mango, one mango costs $1.10. Okay. But then there's some mistake over here. Can you see the mistake? It's not actually a mistake, but in this graph, we don't actually know the exact value of the mango pear and apple right but we have a clue see these lines over here what if i told you to find these lines can you see the lines so this is a line another line this is another line as well okay in order to find these lines what have i told you to do so basically i told you to take the this number and this number and you should find the difference first so you should take 10 minus 0 which is 10 so 10 after that you should find the number of gaps so there's one gap here there's another gap here there's another gap so there's three gaps this is a fourth gap and this is the fifth gap so that's actually five gaps so the next step is to take 10 divide by five gaps so difference divide by number of gaps which is five which will give you two so basically the first line with the first line represents two. So basically the rest of them is just the two times table. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty. Okay. After this, we can actually match these up to the apple. So let's match it up to the apple first. So the apple is 18 right and then the pear is 12 and the mango is 6 okay so in order to do this we know that apples is 18 right and after that we need to know the total value of them so i'm going to take 18 plus 12 plus 6 okay so 18 plus 12 plus 6 it will give us 36 okay so this is basically, so in order to find for part A, we basically take 18 over 36 and then we simplify it. Okay, so if you just type 18 over 36, it will give you half in your calculator, okay? So the answer for part A is half, okay? So I hope you understand my explanation for part A. Now let's move on to part B. Let's read the question. On which type of fruit did Vera spend the most? How much did Vera spend on that type of fruit? Okay, so let's highlight the key information. So they're asking us which type of fruit did Vera spend the most amount of money, okay? So they're asking us how much did she spend on the type of fruit? Okay, so we are going to find the, the price for apple, mango, pear, okay? So there's 18 apples. So in order to find the, the total cost of the apples, we basically take 18 times 40 cents. Right, so in order to find the apples, we take 80 times 40 cents, it will give us $7.20. And then we do for the mango. 
So there's six mangoes, right? So I'm going to take six times $1.10 because the mango costs $1.10. It will give us $6.60. Okay, so far the apple is the highest, right? Okay, now let's calculate for the pair. Okay, the pair. So there's 12 pairs. I'm taking 12 times 80 cents. It will give me $9.60. And this is the answer. Do you know why? Because the pair is the most among all of these because okay look nine dollars and sixty cent is greater than seven dollars and twenty cent nine dollars and sixty cent is greater than okay it's greater than six dollars and sixty cent okay so this is why nine dollars and sixty cent is the second answer and the first answer is pair okay because they are asking us two questions in one part. Okay. So I hope you understand that. Okay. So this is the answer for this question for part B. And I hope you understand my explanation for this question. Parts A and B. And I hope you understand my explanation. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.